plaintiff, Elisa Estrada, lives next door to the defendant. And Elisa claims she's nothing but a drunk, a con artist, and a criminal. Elisa says after her husband painted the defendant's home, the defendant and her husband made false claims against her at her job. So she's suing for defamation, harassment, and breach of contract. Defendant Victoria Wolfers and her husband Nathan say when they first moved in four years ago, they were warned about Elisa because she's sneaky and has issues with everyone in the neighborhood. Victoria's countersuing for harassment and emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Um, Your Honor, first and foremost, I'm going to give you a little background on Victoria. Um, she is a drunk, a known drunk, a con artist, a liar. She's very deceitful, a person of no integrity Did or morals. Did you know she was a drunk? <laughs> I, no, I didn't hear that, but... I'm trying to see. A known she drunk. She said she's a known, who knows? <laughs> a known drunk. Door don't know, I don't know. Uh, she's been arrested, Your Honor. Oh, okay, yeah, well, yeah. For DUI. She's been arrested for it, it's known. That's right. correct, it's in Go the paper. Ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> she's a liar, a known drunk. Oh, and she's also been arrested for retail theft last month. And a thief. And a thief, oh. clearly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's pretty I'm bad. That, and you all were friends? Uh, well, she's my neighbor. I have to live next door to this. No, um, this. Stop. <laughs> I'm not going to allow you to do that. No, this. I'm, I'm not. Well, okay. Right. So, um, her. Her. Mm -hmm. um, she moved into the neighborhood. I welcomed her. She's a direct neighbor. We share a common wall. Okay. She, when she initially moved in, I did go over and welcome her to the, to the neighborhood. Um, which at that point she indicated that she didn't have any showering products or towels or anything of that nature, which I did extend to her um, and welcomed her into my home. At that point, she saw how beautiful my house is. She was moved in as a single woman? Uh, no, with her partner, her baby's daddy that's here today. He didn't have a rag either? I said. guess not. <laughs> or a bar of soap. Or a bar of soap? No. <laughs> Apparently not. A lot of folks use the liquid stuff anymore. And they don't, everybody don't use a rag in a bar of soap. Maybe that was it, right? Please tell me it. something. Huh? We, had, we had just closed on that. Okay. We had just well, closed on the home. We had get, nothing I'm, moved in. I, I'm trying to clear this up for you now. Just, you know, just to all that wine you don't babe. That's, that's alcohol, you know, me saying. being the drunk. I had, I had enough alcohol. All right, you give me so, some so. background, then. <laughs> uh, four years ago, in May of 2013, we moved into our new home. Um, we were looking forward to a fresh start with our daughters, and we had a new baby on the way. Uh, right away, walking in the door practically with the keys, we were warned about Elisa from everyone. But um, what type of stuff we did were they told, tell you? We were told that she was very money hungry. She was the neighborhood gossip. That she's has issues with everyone. She's just very sneaky and that she's always looking for another reason to get out into the neighborhood and curse somebody out or call the police on them. You know, if their dog is out there for 30 seconds longer than she wants to hear the dog bark, cause you know, dogs do bark. Um, despite everyone's warnings, she seemed nice. We got along right away. Um, she invited us into her home. We literally- For drinks? Just, <laughs> I'm just asking. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no drinks. Go ahead. I'm not even going to get on this, those issues because it's All right, ridiculous. Go ahead. Um, despite everyone's warnings, we did decide to give her a chance. Her home was beautiful. <laughs> she, the painting. She told me that her husband uh, painted. You know, offered to do our painting. So we went back and forth. Did you all start having problems? If so, when and why? No, but what we did, what I did, realizes over you know the, the last four years is that mm -hmm. she is all of those things your honor and more okay um she's constantly abusing the system number one she's highly motivated by money she even married her latest husband for five thousand dollars who doesn't even live with her i don't think they've ever lived together <laughs> she lives with her mother next door that's all i know and her husband lives elsewhere she was paid five thousand dollars to I marry love him my husband very much so you all are still married? Yes. Well, we, we, we haven't are. seen him in three years. We haven't it's seen no him at all. No matter who you see. <laughs> Except That's when he was business. with his friend at my parents' Your house. Your Honor, my personal them. life is none of her business. 
Why you Wait, talk so your much about life her personal isn't life? Any of my you business, but the... mine is yours. Would yeah. you have no idea what you're talking about? Oh, I do. Oh yes, you know all what? right here. First of all, you're in the paper. I rarely you're drink. in the paper, girlfriend. <laughs> You made the news. Are, are you going to start she talking to me like you talk to um, she, everybody in the You're times. mad. Be quiet. No, you're mad at her fame. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. in the news and you're not. Correct. Correct. Hating on you. I have a job, Your Honor. Go ahead. You're not in the news. I, no, I'm you not. You might have a job, but you're not in, You're not famous. Lisa, you no. even told Be quiet. I'm trying to fight for your fame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to defend your fame. I'm like, what she got? You're not famous. Oh, that's She's okay. She's famous. I'm fine with that, Your Honor. All right. So tell me why you're suing her, ma'am. I'm suing her for breach of contract. Um, we agreed upon $2,500 for uh, my husband to pay in her house. Um, she could never come up with the down payment and begged my husband to please start the job. They needed it done immediately. Um, so against our contract or how we run our business, I, it's my fault. I told him, please just do it. She's a neighbor. You know, let's get off on the right foot with her. So we did the job. Um, weeks went by. Uh, she still hadn't put down a down payment. No monies were paid. Um, so we're like just about finished. There were just like minor touch-ups here and there that needed to be done. And my husband stopped the job at that point because she still hadn't even paid a down payment or now one penny towards anything. Um, so at that point, the job was stopped. It took several weeks to get paid. She didn't even pay. Her mother paid $2,000 of the $2,500. And... The balance on the contract is for five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought you were saying. The twenty-two fifty. What is that for? And another twenty-two fifty. How did she defame correct, and harass you? How? Yes. What did she do? Um, you? she made um false allegations at my job, stating that I had violated HIPAA privacy uh, regarding her son. Which the chaplain made those statements. I don't even it know never what HIPAA even came up. We poured was. Our, the chaplain comes into your room and we poured our heart out. So then I, our two year old son got hit by a car and get his leg set. And the chaplain comes in and wants us to explain how our day went. And it, 10 minutes after he went in to get his leg set, we're walking through the lobby. It's the first time we left him. And as we walked by her, I didn't even know she worked at the hospital. All we hear is nice parenting. Turned around and recognized her. Just standing right behind us. I'm like, I said, are you serious? You're going to approach us like that in the hospital? Play That's a lie. Obviously work? Why, That's man? a lie. So, the, so I, I let it go. And then when the chaplain came into our room that night, mm -hmm. I explained to him like everything that happened throughout the day and how emotionally upset we were from it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it told him, the, told the chaplain the story. And the chaplain is the one that went and filed all the paperwork and brought his superiors in. All right, ma'am, how did you become aware that they were there that day? I didn't know that they were there. I was um, on my break. She was coming around the corner when she saw me, and she gave me a dirty look, and I said, nice. Like, this is where I work. Mm -hmm. Like, nice. You're, I knew she was going to start drama there. I just knew it. Why? I'm there for my because son that got hit by is. a car. Man, I'm going to start drama with you. I don't, believe she, you. You I don't believe she was thinking about you. You think that I was thinking about you? No. I don't believe you're that important to her. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you are so important that she's there to be with her two-year-old son, and this man is so emotional about it still that he's brought to tears, and you think you were on their mind. You much too self-important. Well, I actually and nobody have thought about you. You have uh, anything that shows that it hurts your job for them to talk about you violating I HIPAA? I was placed under Do you have anything? I said, do you have any evidence? Yes, I do I see have you messy an email. I can tell you messy already. These folks coming in there to see their baby. I have an email from her uh, baby's daddy indicating Is how that he the way you talk? Oh, no. Baby's daddy? Indicating what? Indicating how he was going to Baby's make daddy. a uh, formal complaint uh -huh. months afterwards because I was trying to address the issue of the five hundred dollars. Where? Right here. At the hospital. Yes, that he was going to make formal complaints after I had already. And he had said something about asking for money at the hospital. No, no, Your Honor. Well, that's, that's what you just said. I want to no. know what that talks about. You're suing, saying that they made a report about you not adhering to the rules of hospitals. Correct. Show me some evidence. What is that? It's email correspondence from, from our whom? integrity department. From what? 
our integrity Saying department. that they referred you? I mean, they, that, that they, they were investigating me. made a complaint against you? Yes. That they made a complaint? Yes, Your Honor. Of course, Please provide a detail to forward to Ms. Freeman. This is regarding derogatory remarks made by you to your neighbors. What does this have to do with HIPAA? I thought HIPAA dealt with uh, privacy, healthcare privacy. That is correct. And that's, that's not what, he, what this is referring to. No, but that... Th this I has nothing to do with HIPAA. This is them reporting you for derogatory remarks you made to them as customers Which when they were seeing their two-year-old. Now, do you have anything that you said you had? If you don't have that, I'm dismissing your case. I just have I know text. you don't. Your claim is dismissed. Yours is granted. Have a good day. Leave us alone. Go to hell. I have 18 Rod police reports that you have made Rod against us. That's why DCFS and a was at your house. And a police oh officer God. stated DCFS. that you lied to the police department. You lied. Signed you're by a police a liar. officer. Oh, my God. Signed Alisa. by a police a liar. officer that you lied to them. You are. Baby's daddy. Yeah, that's oh what my he is. God. Don't lie that's to the police department. I don't lie. Yeah, this police I don't officer. That's all you do. I don't home your mail order husband or whatever he is. Whatever. Okay?